Okay, so this video is an answer to a question I got a couple of times. I don't know if I already answered this, but this is as good as ever, a good time as ever to answer this. So let G be a finite group and H and K be subgroups of G. So H is a subgroup of G and K is also a subgroup of G where G is finite, right? So let G and be a finite group and H and K be subgroups of G. Prove that the order of H times K equals the order uh, of H times the order of K dividing by the order of the intersection of H and K. Okay, so we know that H and K are finite, right? Okay, so since these two are finite, H intersection K will be finite too, right? So the order of H intersection K, the order of subgroups, will be some uh, natural N, okay? Since these are two are finite, so this one has to be finite. So let us define a map phi from H times K, right, our two subgroups, to this is more, more or less uh, known, this. And the, the map will be in the form phi of HK equals HK. OK? OK, but looking at this mapping, uh, what is HK? HK will be the set H times K such that H is in the subgroup H and K is in the subgroup K. Right. So it's pretty obvious that phi is onto or surjective. OK? Now we are going to establish a relation here. Okay, we are going to establish a relation on H times K. Okay, what will this relation be? This relation, we are going to relate HK to H prime K prime. Okay, and this relation we will do it so we say H K is related to H prime K prime if and only if, this is very important now, phi of H K equals phi of H prime K prime. Okay? Okay. So at this time you, we already proved that uh, phi induces a one-to-one -one correspondence between the set of um, equivalence classes. So H times K, right, by the relation, okay, is related uh, with H, K. Now we have to prove we have to show now that each equivalence here, it, each uh, equivalence class has exactly n elements, where this n will be this one here, right? Where n will be the order of the intersection uh, HK. Okay. Okay, so let HK be an element in the product of the subgroups. We have to prove that this uh, equivalence class has n elements, where n is this one. Okay, so I'm, I'm using this notation for equivalence classes. This is the usual notation for this. Okay, um, we are going to prove this, that this equivalence class has n elements, n elements, by constructing a one to one uh, um, correspondence 
between H intersection K to the uh, equivalence class. Okay? Okay, so for one element X that is in intersection H K, we define phi of X has, um, as H X inverse X K by this order. Uh, do not forget to respect the order here. So now that we define this phi of x being h x, x inverse k, uh, first we have to verify to check if phi of x is in the class equivalence. Okay, so question, is phi of x in the class equivalence? That's what we have to prove. So let us pick an arbitrary element x in the intersection of the subgroups. Uh, hx will be in the subgroup H, right? And the x inverse times k will be in the subgroup K. So this um, shows that phi of x is in the intersection. Okay, I put a further note here. See that hx x inverse k equals, uh, you can use the group operations and the group association, right? So h times h h inverse k, so this is h k. So this one equals h k. So that means that phi of x is related to h k. So that means that phi of x is in the equivalence class of h k. So what we do now, we define sigma that take us from the class equivalence of HK to the subgroups intersection HK. Uh, and this will be done by sigma of H prime K prime equals H inverse H prime. Okay, so you have to see that sigma of phi of x will be sigma of h x x inverse k. So if you look at the mapping here, this will be h inverse h x. Please check this, it's quite easy. And that will be x. So this is sigma of phi of x. And what is phi of sigma, phi of this sigma here? Um, I was pointing in the, the wrong direction, sorry. I'm sorry, I was pointing here, phi of x, this doesn't make sense, I was pointing here, but it's not here, phi of x is up here. Okay, so what is sigma phi of x? Phi of x is oh. hx, x inverse k, h, so sigma of hx, x inverse k, and now you apply sigma, so sigma is um, H inverse H prime okay so you use this and you get X now you do the same in the opposite way so this was Sigma of Phi of X now you do Phi Phi of Sigma of H prime K prime so that will be Phi so what is Sigma? Sigma is here right H inverse H prime so Phi you go back and check Phi for this and you will get h prime h prime inverse h k so this is sigma of phi of x and this is phi of sigma of h prime k prime okay but h prime k prime is in the equivalence class so that implies that h k is related to h prime k prime so that means that h k equals h prime k prime. So h prime inverse times, so this one is the one from here. I'm, I'm, I'm showing this, all this from the class equivalence to give you this, okay? So this, so h prime inverse h k will be h prime inverse 
h prime k prime and that will be k prime so you see this one was x and this one was k prime so phi of sigma of h prime k prime this one right at the end of the day is nothing else but h prime k prime so this shows that phi and sigma are inverses okay just i i did it very quickly otherwise i would have to make a video of two hours okay just do it slowly and so this shows that phi and sigma are inverses so phi is a one-to-one -one correspondence and the order of the equivalence classes equals the order of hk that means n as we saw before so our conclusion is that every class equivalence of h times k has n elements so there are in the order the order divides n right so there are n there are uh, the same um, h um, there are hk hk equivalence classes you see so the same number of elements it will be the same number of elements as in hk okay and this uh, concludes the the proof if you search the internet for this question you're going to get a different answer it's the same i just wrote here in a more fancy way but what you're going to get on the internet is a huge list where usually the authors they list all the equivalence classes you see and then show it more or less the way i did but with a simpler simpler language but more uh, more lengthy longer answers